Hey guys, Sharp and Tasty here. Coming at you with a little impromptu video. Um, I'm making dinner tonight and I was going to make some delicious French onion soup. And it turns out that it takes about five, four to five hours to cook and make, to make like true French onion soup. And I don't have the right size um, anything really. So, going with hamburgers, always a great backup, always great all the time. Not really going to be so much a how-to video for hamburgers, but more just recipe, talk a little bit about it. The hamburger, what's nice about it to begin with, before I get into the recipe, is just, it's so incredibly versatile. It's the kind of thing where you can buy a bunch of ground beef and try 15 different hamburger recipes that you made up, and some will be great, some will be awful. I mean... Your hamburger can taste like nothing, but what you put around it, if what you put around it is fantastic, like say you stuff it, say, I mean, obviously you can see I have some onions in here. It all, it all makes sense. I mean, you can, you can, you can make a Hawaiian burger, as some people call it, with, you know, pineapple and ginger. All, all, you could try all sorts of stuff. It's so versatile. You can do almost anything with it, and that's what makes them so great. That's what also makes them um, such an American food, because they're so easy Truly hard to screw up a hamburger, but I mean you can do it. I've done it before. So the, the only screwing up part is really in the cooking. But so the recipe I used today is I'm just making it up kind of on the go. But as you can see, I've got a bunch of a whole bunch of ground beef in here. I've added some of my kosher salt, which I've got in this little container here. Uh, freshly ground pepper. And I added garlic powder. Let's see, I grabbed that out here. Added some of that. And, um, and then just the, I chopped up one small onion. And yeah, mix that all up. Make sure when you're making a hamburger, you mix it really, really good. Because otherwise, I mean, as you can see, my hamburgers, when I pull them, form them, they're nice and um, compact. Like, it doesn't look like it's going to fall apart. And that's what you want, because otherwise, as it cooks, it's going to get looser, looser, it's just going to fall to pieces. So, mix it up really good, make sure it's all mixed thorough, and then compact it really tight. So, when I make a hamburger, when I make the actual burger part, I just kind of scoop up a little bit, you know, maybe about this much, depending. I'm going to make one for my um, younger siblings right now, and so it's going to be kind of smaller. And I, just, I go like this, I just kind of make a ball, and push it really tight, because that'll, that'll, like, Push, push the meat into itself, and then I just kind of you know, pat it out with the palm hand, squeeze it, and then I go around the edges to seal up those edges because that's really, really important. Make sure you flatten it out. What's more important than the size, so as you can see diameter-wise, this burger is tiny compared to that. But as long, but you, what, what I'm trying to say is what you're really looking for is height. So you want, this burger is just as tall as this burger, it's just smaller. That's really important because that means on the grill, they're all going to cook for the same amount of time. Even though these ones are bigger total, they're the same thickness, which means the center is going to get done just as fast as the rest. So that's really all I want to tell you guys. Just um, try out some hamburgers, you know, put up some video responses, comments, things you've tried, things I should try. They're all great. I mean, you can use any kind of bun, toast your buns, you can do... They're, they're so versatile, try anything. Try anything that you want, whatever you're feeling like. So yeah, go for it, try it, just make sure. Only only real trick is um, compaction it really tight, and obviously you could um, cut one in half to test how much done they are out on the grill. I mean, you could pan fry them, but I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I've never tried that. But out on the grill, when you can see that there's blood and juices coming to the top, and there's kind of a lot of blood and juice coming to the top, that means that the blood and juices that makes this red right now is coming out, which means that this is going to be cooked and brown. So when the blood and juices are coming out, it's time to flip. Blood and juices are coming out, you're good. Yeah, so um, that's all. Try out some hamburgers. Let me know how they go. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. See you guys.